Roll Up to Win is back at Tim Hortons. Get rolling on the Tim's app for a chance to win. television okay question if you buy a lottery ticket for someone and that lottery ticket wins are you owed a cut no are you owed a cut Mm. you buy someone a a lottery ticket for their birthday Mm. that lottery ticket wins 30 million dollars do you deserve a cut that's the question we're facing uh, today mary mccarthy from new waterford nova scotia won a 31 million dollar lotto max jackpot She's 83 years old. Her grandson, Jeff, bought her the winning ticket. It was announced that the winning ticket was sold in New Waterford on January 31st, which is also Mary's birthday. Largest lottery prize ever in Nova Scotia and in the Maritimes. (laughs) So, FISA, Uh I I don't know why I'm going to you first, but I feel like this is the right play. (laughs) If you are Jeff, having having just handed a loved one a $30 million lottery ticket, Mm -hmm. what's the expectation? Judge Judy is in my head 24-7, FYI. Mm -hmm. And Judge Judy will throw this case out within 30 seconds. But if I was Jeff, I'd be like, Grams. <laughs> a little bit. Can I have a little bit? I don't think he's owned, but be nice to Grams. Where was your intention when you gave Grandma that ticket? Mm-hmm. Was it to she's, get the money? So he's th- not owed. You think he's not owed. No, Jeff. Go back and- to work. <laughs> no. But ask Grandma. That's shocking. Mm-hmm. Don't you bet. You gave Grandma a ticket. It was a yeah. gift. I mean, if you gave her a gift certificate, you wouldn't be expected to go for dinner to Milestones if you gave her that gift certificate. That's right. You give a gift without condition. Grandma probably would offer, I'm thinking, if I was Grandma, I'd probably offer him something, just like I would maybe the rest of the family and anyone I want to help out with. But if, if a grandson sits there and goes, hey, you owe me, I'd be like, I don't think so. This was a gift. It's not your signature on here. You gave it. I mean, I work with somebody who gives us a lottery ticket every Christmas mm. and I would probably give her something but I'm not obligated no, it's don't a give gift. It, I would don't you know what grandma don't get don't give him anything oh. gift. <laughs> Prove a gift. Point. I can't believe what I'm hearing right now Stephanie Henry. oh I would want like half yes and I would ask and I would you would ask, you'd ask like grandma half. I would ask over grandma. dinner I would ask grandma I'd be like oh my gosh you won the lottery grandma like, what, what are we gonna do <laughs> <laughs> Ticket. If you join in on a group ticket, I see that. I mean, but it is a gift. The group, the group, group is two people. The group is two people. Yeah. The, group is, the group is family. Like, yeah. Like, what are we going to do with this? Did the group thing? watch the six o'clock newscast to find out that they won? Or was it just grandma? Well, she has the numbers, right? Yeah, yeah. Numbers, I, was numbers, say that. So. I don't know. That's an old school way to watch it, just but saying. I like that. <laughs> Frank. I'm taking this all in right now, but you know what? What I would do is say, Grandma, can I read your will first? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> After reading the will, I got oh, some no. research down. Then I would then approach Grandma with maybe I, I need a little bit more. You know, it's a but, rather dark but legal way to look at it. Yeah, it really is. It's like, Grandma, you won $31 million. Let's just take a look at the will right now and see how this all plays out long term. You long-term. don't think Grandma, though, would probably offer it? Grandma's getting The question is, is, is grandson right. asking for it? I don't think it's right to ask for it. I think Grandma probably is going to offer. Of mm-hmm. course she would. I would do that, too. But the million. minute the ask comes in, now the it game changes. changes so what do you offer? So what do you offer? 10%. <laughs> and what's the lottery? 30? 31 30 million dollars. Oh, two. Two what? Two, two million. Two million? Two million. Sure. Two million. Two million. Jeff could have brothers and sisters. So. Like, I think about like the housing market, right? Like a house is like, not the point, housing like, market. Oh, the housing stuff. market. Don't yeah, blame East grandma Coast for that. No, 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 no. You're going to need more than like two East million. Coast. You can buy a lot in the East Coast. Can you? Yes. Well, what if what if Jeff wants to move to Toronto? Like, you know? What would Sid do? You're going to need more than two million. What would Sid do? Half. Uh, Half. Grandma, hit me with six, Kim. <laughs> Grandma, I know Grandma's watching, okay? Jeff's a good kid. Jeff's a good egg, okay? Bought the lottery ticket, loves you, gave you the gift. We'll love you more. And we'll love you more. <laughs> 
If there is half coming his way. Oh, my goodness. Uh, the, there would be no lottery win. Without Jeff? If it weren't for two words, Jeff. <laughs> okay? Four letters, too. Four letters. You, you need to pre then you need to pre-negotiate this when you give the gift. If you're going to give a gift a with the up for the lottery ticket. <laughs> this is not square where you type in the tip, okay? Right. You pre-negotiate it. Graham, I'm card. giving you this. And by the way, if, if, I, if you win. Yeah. How about two mil? Right. How about oh, half? And I'm not asking for the money, but I'll put my bank information in my drawer. <laughs> Send Just it slide it across the table. Like, so send it you, through. Wow. See, if, they ever, if, no, if they ever give you a lottery ticket, you know where it is. Yeah. Wow. Are you, you don't have to give them anything. seeing this right now? <laughs> I'll, pay you, I'll, I'll pay you on easy pay. <laughs> TV. What does Jeff get out of this? Let us know. Maybe we can phrase it differently. <laughs> that wasn't a great way to phrase it. Uh, Fies has got news coming up. Then at 740, we're joined by a chef who's breaking barriers in the culinary industry and pushing Caribbean cuisine Ooh. to the forefront. We're going to take a break. We're going to fight about the lottery ticket during the break, and we'll come back with news. You're watching BT. I can't believe that.